Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Technics Media and today we are going to do a full comparison of an iPhone 5 with a Nokia Lumia 920. Both of these devices are the latest uh, phones from respective brands. This one is from Apple and this one is obviously from Nokia. And Nokia Lumia 920 is a flagship device from Nokia which they have actually launched recently here in India as well. And iPhone 5 all was also launched some months ago. So both of these devices are the uh, the most uh, the most powerful smartphone uh, in the market right now, which are available. Uh, iPhone 5 starts at 16 GB storage, and it comes for like 45,500 rupees here in India. Whereas uh, Nokia Lumia 920 has 32 GB of inbuilt storage. It, it starts with 32 GB. There is no 16 GB variant, and it comes at a price of around. Uh, around 38 to 37 thousand Indian rupees and both of these smartphones are running on different version of operating system iPhone is running on iOS which is a much older and stable OS now whereas uh, Nokia Lumia 920 is again running on Windows phone which has gone to a very high level uh, if we compare it from the beginning uh, the the latest version of OS which is running on Nokia Lumia 920 is Windows Phone 8 and it has got a lot of features it has got a lot of apps as well uh, right now if I actually assume you that there is an app for almost everything on a Windows Phone as well on a Windows Phone 8 if you compare it with an, with an iPhone we've already done a video how we actually switched from uh, an iPhone 4 to a Nokia Lumia 920 and how we actually find out all the apps you can watch that video uh, in the annotation link which is there on the video right now let me just go through the hardware before I, before I start with the comparison so the hardware on the, both of these devices if we talk about the display Nokia Lumia 920 has IPS LCD capacitive touch screen display it is 4.5 inches diagonal as you can see this is how the display looks like on Nokia Lumia 920. It is quite vibrant. It does give you a large number of options when it comes to themes and colors. And then you have the resolution of the display is 768 into 1280 pixels. And this is a 4.5 inch touch screen. And the overall pixel density which you will get on Nokia Lumia 920 is 332. That is 332. Whereas on an iPhone, you get the pixel, uh, the display first of all is LED backlit IPS LCD display. So on the display side, both of these devices are pretty good. And uh, if we talk about the pixel density, you get a 326 pixels per inch uh, on the display as far as the pixel density, that is 326 approximately. And then you have four inch display size as you can see. So. Uh, the protection of the display basically both of these devices have the Corning Gorilla Glass 2 display so they are the display is crash resistant but still we would recommend that you go for a screen guard even if you buy this device or this device if we talk about the camera Nokia Lumia 920 has 8 megapixel camera which allows you to capture a photo of maximum 3264 into 2448 pixels uh, whereas Apple iPhone also has an 8 megapixel camera and it allows you to capture the photos at the same resolution that is 3264 into 2448 pixels uh, if we talk about the camera UI if we talk about the capability of the camera uh, Nokia Lumia 920 has a, has got a better camera it has got an 8 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization feature which allows you to take photos in a very stable way even when you are uh, recording the video in the shaky environment or you are taking a photo in the shaking environment uh, the cam the back camera on Nokia Lumia 920 does perform better in low light as well if we compare it with iPhone 5 so the in low light you will see better photos on uh, in in Nokia Lumia 920 as compared to an iPhone 5 we have actually tested it you can see the video which is right now linked with the annotation which is showing right now in the video and we have actually done a video on optical image stabilization we have actually compared uh, the recording quality the video recording quality on a Nokia Lumia 920 and an iPhone 5 and you can watch that video uh, in the annotation link which is there on the video again so uh, if we talk about the CPU on both of these devices Nokia Lumia 920 has got a 
dual core 1.6 gigahertz carryout based processor which is an a15 architecture processor which is again quite nice on nokia lumia 920 whereas iphone 5 has got a dual core 1.26 giga 1.2 gigahertz processor uh, that is an apple a6 processor if we talk about the chipset if we talk about the gpu the gpu on nokia lumia 920 is adreno 225 which is quite nice if we talk about the GPU on iPhone 5, it has got PowerVR SGX543 MP3 uh, that is a model of the GPU which is there on iPhone 5. Both of these devices support supports HTML5 and uh, the browser on iPhone 5 is Safari whereas you have an internet browser on Nokia Lumia 920. If we talk about the battery on both of these devices, Nokia Lumia 920 has got 2000 milliampere battery, which is non-removable. Whereas iPhone 5 has got 1450 milliampere battery, which is uh, low as per the, uh, if you compare it with Nokia Lumia 920, but it is quite sufficient when it comes to backup. Uh, but as for our own personal experience, we have used both of these devices for like four, for more than a month. And I have found that Nokia Lumia 920 gives more battery backup when it comes to the overall battery backup. Uh, when you use it on a daily usage for watching videos, for browsing web, for uh, using social networks like Facebook, Twitter and all those things. So Nokia Lumia actually is a winner in that as per our own opinion. Okay, uh, talking about the loudspeaker on both of the devices, the loudspeaker is fairly loud on both on iPhone. 5 as well as on Nokia Lumia 920 that is something which we liked about both of these devices uh, as far as the video playback is concerned we will just show you the overall quality of video playback on both of these devices but both of these devices are fairly large in terms of the display size to give you a nice multimedia experience when it comes to watching videos so now we have gone through the specs of both of these devices let's start the comparison and let's start with the form factor and build quality so if we talk about the form factor and build quality the build quality of both of these devices is quite nice iphone 5 basically it is built up of glass and aluminium which makes it very light and quite interesting when it comes to the overall form factor if we talk about the form factor this is very light very easy portable and uh, very nice device which can easily hold in one hand if you are using it uh, considering the big display size which has uh, which has been added in the iphone 5 uh, the display size is again quite okay because even if the display size has been increased i can easily access the top part of the screen as well as the bottom at this part and this part when i'm holding the phone in one of my hand so this this is actually quite good for people like me who would like to use the phone only with one hand when we talk about nokia lumia 920 nokia lumia 920 is again made up of it has got a unibody design the battery is non-removable just like iphone 5 if we talk about the build quality here nokia has actually followed a very good uh, nokia has actually used a very good material when it comes to designing this phone making this phone this is again quite solid this feels quite pretty solid in hand it it does not feel that if it if it falls down from your hand it will break but on the other hand this uh, iphone 5 feels much lighter in hand uh, that uh, you will have a feeling that if if it falls down it will break uh, it, it might get a dent over here it might get a scratch over here so if you buy an iphone 5 i would rec highly recommend that you go for a, a case or something which protects the back side of the phone so when it comes to nokia lumia 920 this is again quite nice device when it comes to scratches it will not tend to have scratches very easily but you can again go go for a case in this phone as well but talking about the form factor this phone feels fairly heavy when it comes to uh, when when you compare it with iphone 5 it it feels quite heavy but it feels quite solid at the other hand if we talk about the other features which are again uh, quite interesting in nokia lumia 920 which you may not find in iphone 5 as well as or as well as on any other smartphone right now in the market that is the optical image stabilization which allows you to take uh, stable videos when you when you are in the shaking environment and then uh, another feature is the low light photography which is 
which is much better on a Nokia, Nokia Lumia 920 as compared to an iPhone 5. So you can, as far as the design of the phone is concerned, this, this feels quite big in hand when you hold it in one hand and it might be difficult for you to sometime out there to access each and every part of the screen when they are using the phone in one of their hand but because of the display size but they will you will get used to it once you start using it talk about the clarity of the display both of these devices are pretty much clear when it comes to the display uh, you will see a complete clarity when it comes when it comes to reading text or watching videos on both of these devices so both of these devices are equally good when it comes to the clarity of the display and the multimedia experience which you will get on these devices if we talk about the resolution the Nokia Lumia 920 has got 768 into 1280 pixels resolution whereas on iPhone 5 it has got uh, 640 into 1136 pixels uh, resolution as far as the resolution is concerned if if we talk about the battery life, we have actually experienced that Nokia Lumia 920 gives you a better battery life when it comes to doing the same thing which you do on an iPhone 5. We have actually done a test uh, during a day then when we actually use both of the devices for browsing web, for uh, watching videos, for doing activities on social networks, for reading emails, for uh, calling as well. and. If we talk about the camera on both of these devices, both of these devices has got an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash. We have a focus assist lamp as well over here on Nokia Lumia 920 which allows the camera to focus properly on an object even when you are taking photos in dark light. So it does enhance the overall quality of photos in dark light on Nokia Lumia 920 and it has better photos when it comes to taking photos in dark light whereas iPhone 5 lacks here uh, when it comes to taking photos in dark light. The flash performs well but it doesn't perform much uh, good uh, as far as the photo quality is concerned. If we talk about the video recording, we have actually done a video on optical image stabilization feature which is there on Nokia Lumia 920. You can watch that video to actually find out the comparison when it comes to taking videos on both of these devices when you are uh, holding the camera and it is shaking when you are doing the video recording. If we talk about the front camera on iPhone 5 and Nokia Lumia 920, the front camera on iPhone 5 actually uh, is better because when we recorded the video uh, using the front camera on iPhone 5, it was much better and whereas on Nokia Lumia 920, the front camera, the video was much pale yellow. Uh, I don't know why the color saturation was something which was missing in that. If we talk about the software, if we talk about the multitasking on Nokia Lumia 920 and iPhone 5, uh, Nokia Lumia 920 has got the multitasking feature right now in Windows Phone 8 version and you have to press the back key for like 2-3 to three seconds and then you will see all these applications which are running in the background and you will see the thumbnail of all the applications which were running in the background. You can switch in between them but right now you can't kill them maybe this feature will come in the future version of uh, windows phone 8 if we talk about the multitasking on uh, iphone 5 it is much better because you have to just press the you have to double click the home button to actually bring the multitasking menu and then you will see all the application which are running in the background but you won't be uh, you won't be able to basically see what is happening in these application but you can actually kill these applications whichever you want to in order if we talk about the RAM, uh, both iPhone 5 and Nokia Lumia 920 has got 1 GB of RAM and it works pretty well. Both of these devices as far as the daily usage we have installed a lot of apps on Nokia Lumia 920 and we have like a large number of apps on iPhone 5 as well. And both of these devices even after running a large number of applications in the background they doesn't lag, uh, they doesn't lag very easily. Uh, all, all the things go very smoothly either it is the camera usage either it is anything we are using as far as the application is concerned. If we talk about the video playback, uh, we have actually just uh, played a video uh, from YouTube. Let me just play the same video on YouTube uh, on iPhone 5 as well as on uh, Nokia Lumia 920. Let me just go to the YouTube app. So here we have the same video. We will play the same video on both of these devices. Let's see the overall buffering as well as the quality of video playback. So as you can see right now, this is how the video playback quality on both of the devices is looking like. Both of these devices is right now playing a same video which we recorded at CES 2013 for a speaker 
and uh, this video is as you can see the overall quality of playback uh, on iPhone 5 as well as on Lumia 920 is pretty good uh, as far as the uh, quality of the video is concerned both of these devices is play are playing this video uh, in high quality format not the high definition format as far as the player is concerned on iPhone 5 you have uh, these sim simple options of, of pausing a video going to the next video or playing it through airplay on your Apple TV whereas on uh, Loki Lumi 920 you have got these controls in case you want to fast forward or rewind the video you have to actually tap on these buttons and then it will take you to the previous part of the video and then here you have the option to make the video go in full screen so that you don't see the black bars above and bottom whereas on iPhone 5 it is playing in full screen automatically and this is how the quality on both of these devices when it comes to video playback looks like you can see and evaluate the overall quality uh, as far as our opinion is concerned i think both of these devices are playing the uh, playing the video quite nice uh, if if i talk about the brightness of the video uh, in the colors and everything i see more brightness on iphone 5 when it comes to playing the video as far as the clarity is concerned i see good clarity on uh, nokia lumia 920 as you can see right now the screen sensitivity on both of these devices on iphone 5 and lumia 920 uh, lumia 920 is much better when it comes to touch screen sensitivity because i can use the device using my car key basically so in case of extreme weather when you are wearing gloves you can actually use the device uh, with other objects as well on the screen because the screen is scratch resistant so it will not get scratches very easily and same applies on iPhone 5 but if I try to use the touch screen on Lumia 920 with a car key it is possible whereas on iPhone 5 it is not possible it, it will require you to touch the screen with your finger only uh, when you use the device uh, whereas if you use a cloth or something or any other material you can use it on Lumia 920 again it is quite sensitive to this but on iPhone 5 it is not possible again so as far as the touchscreen sensitivity and the extreme weather conditions Lumia 920 is a better choice if you if we talk about the browser on Lumia 920 and iPhone 5, iPhone 5 has got the Safari browser whereas Lumia 920 has got the Internet Explorer which comes preloaded on the device and then if we talk about the browser, both of these browsers have actually loaded the website page our website garishtools.com and if we talk about pinch to zoom is quite fluid on Lumia 920 it is again quite good on iPhone 5 as well as you can see there is no lag, there is no delay uh, if we talk about kinetic scrolling kinetic scrolling is again quite smooth on both of these devices however it seems like it is more smoother on lumia 920 as of now as you can see if we talk about panning panning is again quite good on lumia 920 whereas if we talk about panning on iphone 5 it is again quite smooth as well and it seems to be it seems to be more smoother than Lumia 920 maybe other features for the device both of these devices has got browser the Safari browser here on iPhone gives you a large number of options when it comes to uh, adding a shortcut sharing a uh, page on Facebook or Twitter and going to different tabs as you can see this is how you can actually switch in between different tabs on the Safari browser and you do have the option to add it to the reading list so that you can read it later you have the simple back and forward buttons over here whereas on lumia 920 it is a very sleek browser which uh, try to give you kind of full screen browsing experience if you want to access the options you do have a large number of options of going to tabs recent pages which you have op uh, opened and then you can share a page uh, using tap and send in messaging you do not have the option to share the page on facebook as of now but if you add the facebook and twitter account you will see that option as well here is a simple button for the refresh and stop here is the address bar URL which is quite accessible on Nokia Lumia 920 whereas the address bar is actually on the top on iPhone 5 which is not very accessible because you have to actually reach the upper part of the screen to type the URL of the website whereas it is very accessible on Nokia Lumia 920 because of the placement and browser on both of these devices perform uh, fairly well if we talk about the apps ecosystem or the apps which you see on 
Windows Phone 8 that is Nokia Lumia 920 and iPhone 5. iPhone 5 has a very strong uh, growing basically uh, the apps ecosystem which is already there so you will have an app for almost everything on an iPhone 5 whereas on uh, Windows Phone 8 uh, the Windows Store has got a large number of apps these days it has got app for almost anything you need but the quality of apps is again not very high if you uh, examine right now uh, if you compare it with the apps you see on uh, iOS platform but the number of apps are increasing on Windows Store as well so if you want to go for this phone and if you want to have most of the apps which you use on an iPhone 5 you will see most of the apps uh, officially available over here on Lumia 920 on the Windows Phone 8 or you will get a replacement that you can uh, install in case you don't find an official app and we have actually done a video on that so you can watch that video by clicking the annotation which is showing right now on the video now talking about the overall conclusion about both of these devices if you compare these devices in terms of the size you will see that iPhone 5 is big enough but a Again, it is a little bit sm smaller if you compare it with the Nokia and Lumia 920. The display size is a major difference on both of these devices. And you, uh, when it, when we talk about the camera, Nokia and Lumia 920 has got better camera. It does take better photos in low light as well as it does record better videos with proper sound quality uh, when you are actually in a noisy environment on a Nokia Lumia 920 as compared to an iPhone 5 we have done a video on that as well and if we talk about the overall form factor iPhone 5 is fairly light quite easy to hold in one hand whereas uh, Nokia Lumia 920 is fairly heavy but it does feel very strong and uh, quite sturdy to hold in hand uh, as far as the thickness of the phone is concerned, iPhone 5 is fairly thin whereas Lumia 920 is quite thick. It has got a round design at the back side so it makes it easy to hold in your hand. It won't slip out from your hand when you are holding it but you will feel a kind of a worry that when you are holding an iPhone 5 it feels so light and is made up of glass and aluminium. This is a poly unicarbonate unibody design and uh, both of these devices are fairly good if we talk about the form factor they have got their own unique points finally if i want to if you want to take my advice uh, on buying of these on buying any of these phones i would suggest that if you want a uh, better quality of apps if you want if you if you want to do a lot more when it comes to apps on your phone you should go for an iphone 5 because it has got a much larger number of apps the quality of apps is better on iphone 5 if you want to try something new if you have used an iphone you should go for windows phone uh, you should try out all the apps most of the apps which you will see on iphone 5 or an iphone you will see them on nokia lumi 920 on the windows phone 8 as well if we talk about the extreme weather conditions this device does perform much better as compared to an iPhone 5. The camera on Nokia Lumia 920 is much better uh, for low light photography as well as for video recording as compared to an iPhone 5. That's all from us right now. Do let us know if you have any questions regarding these devices. Uh, we would love to help you uh, by answering these questions. And thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.